Welcome to this more in five minutes. So it's gonna be short and simple one topic episodes. So this time we're gonna take a look at how we can utilize shelf for a like a startup library. So what I do when I start projects, I kind of usually have the same kind of dirt maps and everything. So instead of loading them into the project every time, I want to have a way to just store them. So I always have them there like a stock library. So what I do, I use the shelf to do this. So in my case, let's take the shelf here and create a new shelf and call it Grunge. So the way you do it, you load your images that you want to add to a shelf. So they has to be on a uh, network drive. So you can't have it on a USB drive that's only there. Um, or locally, if, if you only work on your machine, then it has to be in a location like a texture library. So in my case, let's take those seven grunge images, load them into the image library. So I took this the other day when I was out with my dog on a walk. So I took my camera. He just took a lot of grunge images when I found them. So here we can see we're they're quite big. And this one was really nice. Let's see. That could be real handy when you wanna do stuff. So let's just drag them over into the so we have this tab here, the grunge. And they are now when you place them in the grunge or the, the shelf here, they get a link to the location. So I can essentially now just take those from the image manager and delete them and they're gonna still be in the tab here. So to prove that, if I save here and open another project, so we close this, open this one instead. They're gonna pop be populated into this tab even in the next project. So there you see it. They are there. And you see the image manager in here, they, they don't exist here. So what happens if you if you drag now something from the shelf into the paint buffer like here, it's gonna get loaded into the image manager. So it takes a little while the first time here when it gets loaded. So now it's loaded. So you can have a lot of images and don't convolute Mari with uh, with them. So yeah, I, I add stock material that I always have as a startup for my projects. So yeah, there you go. That's the way you can utilize like a stock library that you always start up with. It's really handy. Give it a try. So that's it for this time. So you can help me out by submitting whatever topics you want me to discuss in uh, future episodes. And you do it in the comments below. So just, just hang out there and fill out what, what you want me to cover. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.